Welcome to Journey Through the Bible with Essential Oils. My name is Cheryl Fuller. I'm a wife and mom, Bible-believing Christian, and your tour guide on this exciting adventure, which is my own creative portrayal based on my study of essential oils and love for the Bible. It's a thrill to have you. Thank you for joining us. This is Destination One. Where are we? Let me give you some clues. It is beautiful here. Beautiful plants, beautiful flowers, Huge trees. The animals aren't fighting. There are only two people here. The Garden of Eden, right? What a more perfect place than to start our journey in this perfectly flawless environment spoke into existence by God himself and proclaimed very good. Have you ever taken a walk through the forest, perhaps a lush meadow or through a greenhouse full of plants and flowers? Did you know that those fragrances, which soothe the heart and calm the emotions, were in fact essential oils? Plants contain essential oils in their stems, leaves, flowers, bark, branches, and even the roots. These essential oil molecules are so tiny that they readily leap out of the plant into the air and can be breathed in. These molecules are so complex, scientists are still making discoveries, and we can be constantly amazed at our Creator's handiwork. Essential oils function within the plant as their immune system, you might say. They're what God gave plants to help them stay healthy and as they interact in their environment. Fascinatingly, Probably because God created the plants, God created our bodies. Essential oils interact in our bodies in many of the same ways. It is very special to me that God created essential oils on day three of creation, even before he created Adam and Eve. This reassures me that God knows all of history from the beginning to the end. While these rich, enticing aromas would have brought great comfort to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, they were already equipped to soothe emotional wounds and discomforts that would one day be caused by sin. I think the perfect oil to demonstrate this is the oil of Cypress. Cypress has a rich, fresh aroma Reminiscent of a fresh cut Christmas tree, it's distilled from the branches of the cypress tree. Cypress is what God wanted in Isaiah 41 19 when he was about to turn a wasteland into a luxurious place. Fascinatingly, the aroma of cypress, the benefits of that, are known to bring comfort during seasons of grief and loss. It helps to release anger and create feelings of security and grounding. Think of the story of Noah. What wood did God tell Noah to build the ark? Gopher wood, and gopher is from the Cypress family. Think of um, Noah and his family sailing in the ark. They've just lost everybody they ever knew and loved their friends, their relatives. The earth that was familiar to them and all those places were lost. And God in his love and his mercy and his provision provided the perfect aromatherapy treatment that he surrounded them with so that they could heal emotionally. Praise the Lord. Cyprus, I want to just mention Cook had some physical benefits as well. It's great for the joints. It's great for the blood and the circulatory system and helping maintain healthy levels of fluid in the body. Why do I love Cypress essential oil? Because it and this story remind me that before I ever thought my first thought of God, He was already thinking about me. He was loving me, preparing for and providing for what I would one day need. My friend, God is thinking about you too, and He has been since the beginning of time. This should make you feel really special. 
This should reassure that He knows your deepest needs and has a perfect plan for your life. This should give you hope. I love this stop. I love the Garden Eden here in the Cypress Oil. But we have a bunch more stops to make. Let's keep going. Destination number two, coming right up. Essential Oils, a way of life. See you there.